Well, OCD is a severe mental disorder uh, that is characterized by obsession and compulsion to mitigate uh, their anxiety. There are different what they call dimensions in OCD symptoms. Some are like checking whether the door are locked or stuff like this. There are some which are more um, hygiene oriented, washing hands, germs, etc. There are more ordering, making sure things are in place, everything is neat. Lots of thoughts about germs, life-threatening diseases and manifesting in the compulsion to wash my hands. It is a genuine disease of the brain and like any mental illness has, has had a huge impact on my life. Is associated with a dramatic reduce in the quality of life and an unfortunately high uh, rate of suicide. Therefore OCD is a, can be considered a life-threatening condition in, in severe case. We looked at um, the difference in brain images uh, between healthy volunteers and people with uh, obsessive compulsive disorders. We knew that uh, these subcortical to cortical communication patterns were changed in the disorder. We didn't quite knew how they were changed or how the region communicate, uh, and this new study provides information about that. To so the scan, show um, a different functional circuitry between some subcortical areas and cortical areas which are responsible for emotion regulation and motor control and cognitive, more cognitive aspects. These are highways that communicate between the, the location in the nucleus accumbens where the emotion is initiated to the frontal parts of the brain where the uh, the emotion and the affective uh, cue is uh, processed. And we find that these highways are hyperactive. So we see that when the affective emotional circuit is hyperactive, the cognitive motor circuit is uh, hypoactive, so inhibited. And so there is this, this um, imbalance. This finding uh, are absolutely instrumental to guide uh, uh, our future trials. It is an absolute game changer for the person that's gone through life thinking that, oh, this is just me. I have a weakness. My willpower is questionable. And to be able to see that it's actually a function of the brain and a chemical imbalance or those sort of things, it's an absolute huge relief. That will allow us to uh, specifically target structure and pattern of connectivity between the different regions. For example, we have a surgical intervention. The aim for the intervention will be to reduce this hypercommunication between this region and this frontal region. There is also another trial that we're going to start using ultrasound uh, brain stimulation that allow us to interfere with the activity of this region uh, deep in the brain. One of the trials that we just finished is uh, using transcranial magnetic stimulation, is a form of non-invasive brain stimulation. Particularly, we are interested in this trial to uh, stimulate this anterior part of the brain that, as Seb showed, sh demonstrates some hyper-communication with the subcortic yep. to normalize the um, activity of that circuit. Okay. What this latest paper or research has found, it sets the tone for what comes next, and it's deeply exciting. I think there is hope. Uh, of course, science takes time, but uh, uh, I think uh, we, we are doing good progress in, in that regard. This will lead to more personalised and effective therapies uh, for OCD.